सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी आर डूइंग यू एच बी थ्री एंड वी वर ऑन लेक्चर ट्वेंटी टू ऑलमोस्ट कमिंग टू अ कम्पलीशन ऑफ लेक्चर ट्वेंटी टू वेर वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट द वैल्यूज एट द लेवल ऑफ नॉलेज our understanding we were talking about policy the details of how to go about you know doing this and the character which is the expression outside in the work in the behavior in the participation in the larger order so <clears throat> we talked of the values then we talked of the policy about how to do the details the planning the program and so on and then lastly we were talking about the expression of all this outside with this clarity inside the detailing inside us then there is the expression outside so then it is there in the behavior in the work in the participation in the larger order and it is on the basis of the human values to begin with at the level of understanding that is at the level of b1 block so when we talk of this expression outside so you detail it out as character character of an individual so compassionate behavior and expression of that is behavior in the behavior with other human beings in the work with the rest of nature and in the participation in the larger order so in the behavior one would then if you are going by the values one would ensure justice in the relationship so that there is mutual happiness so from our end with the right values with the right feelings seeing our complementarity with the other ensuring justice in the relationship with that feeling of trust and respect for all so that there is mutual happiness in the relationship and if there have been some gaps in the past because of mistakes made on both sides then from our side we amend those or fill those gaps or make up for those mistakes that we made in ignorance so we took the example that when we are interacting with even if it is close family relatives with whom we say yes we have a relationship but there may be times that are fully in line with the values we may not be ensuring justice in the relationship because we may not be looking at mutual happiness rather we may be looking at what we think is happiness for me but ultimately my happiness lies in the mutual happiness this if i am able to see then the only way to go is towards mutual happiness so in a 
say in a relationship with close family relatives it could be your sibling it could be your spouse it could be your child it could be your parent are we ensuring justice in all our relationships so we may be improving like many of us have shared we are able to now have the feeling of trust more and more often but then when we don't get the response from the other side we start losing hope and we also start reacting so from our side we go with a very good thought that okay now i am a better person i understand things better i understand the relationship better now i will have the right feeling and i will see try to see things from the others perspective with all that we go forward to interact and when we interact the other doesn't respond to us say for example the other reacts now again we forget everything we have forgotten about our natural acceptance we forget about justice in the relationship and we may react back we may shout back thing to be aware of is that we have been in association for a long time the relationship did not start today it has been there for a while and in that relationship earlier without understanding i may have made many mistakes so on the basis of those mistakes that i made now there is a gap in the relationship what is happening the other doesn't have trust on my intention because the other things i don't want to make them happy now the other may not have this understanding but i am going through this process i am trying to understand so if i think that i have better understanding than that person then i should take responsibility and i should from my side ensure my feeling and do justice in the relationship regardless of their behavior because now i have to also fill the gaps which were created by me in an ignorant manner without knowing in the past so if i know better now then i can continue with my definite behavior regardless of the other's reaction and if i continue with the definite behavior the other sees my definiteness in behavior and nobody has a problem with right behavior so once twice thrice four times even if the other person reacts i continue with the right behavior then the other also starts responding this you have to experiment with and see it may seem like why should i be the one all of this we'll think but then something will bother us within us something disturbs us but when we do justice in the relationship then we have mutual happiness and we will be able to see that it is in the others happiness that my happiness also lies now this we start with our immediate family members the closest family members with whom we already have 
and acceptance for the relationship. And then slowly we start expanding our vision to see our relationship with more and more and more human beings outside of this small circle. So we expand this circle till we have the right feeling for each and every human being, regardless of their behavior, regardless of their expression of the character. From my side, my character becomes definite in, and its expression is there in my behavior. Similarly, when I do work, I ensure the preservation of nature and I look from the perspective not just of my prosperity but prosperity in nature also. Again, also filling the gaps created in ignorance. So like we said, all the problems that we have created in the nature, slowly we need to reverse those. We need to make amends for that. Yes, from today we start ensuring the preservation, looking at mutual prosperity, but all the damage that was created in the past, for that we have to make amends. So like planting more trees, the deforestation that has happened, trying to correct that, the pollution that has happened, trying to make amends for that, and so on. In this character or expression also would be included rightfully acquired wealth, we said, and chastity in conjugal relationships. So in rightfully acquired wealth, he spoke of three things. One, say we are doing some production. I think this is there on the next slide. You can go to the next slide. We discussed it yesterday. Yeah. So production, when we do through labor, when we work with the rest of nature, And we get some physical facility from that. That can be one way of rightfully acquiring wealth. Or when we get some wealth in exchange for some service that we are providing. Or we are providing physical facilities, say, with utility value and artistic value. So if there is something of use, of value to others, and we bring it forward to the other with artistic value in the sense that we say, supposing we have some um, We produce on our, we have land and we produce, say, some um, vegetable. Say, if you look at tomatoes, we produce tomatoes. Now, there is a whole lot of tomatoes, and we, we see that this is of value, this is nurturing for the body but we have a lot of quantity. So we also make certain chutneys, sauces, those kind of things out of it, package it nicely. So that nice packaging would be the artistic value. And with this, when we... Um, provide this to others, in exchange we get some good, some wealth, 
this would be a rightfully acquired wealth through work that is done by us. Similarly, you can have right in rightfully acquired wealth, you can also have gift. Gift means some wealth that is being shared very willingly, happily. On say some festival. So, um, like for instance, yesterday the discussion was happening about marriage. Somebody is getting married and so people give gift of money. Now this is willingly given, happily given to help the other set up their um, household. So this is also a rightfully acquired wealth. Then there can be rightfully acquired wealth in terms of awards. So when one contributes to society and one wants to motivate or, you know, for motivating others, inspiring others, drawing, you know, bringing recognition to the contribution that is made in society. Physical facility may be given or wealth may be given as an award. So you do a big function, you invite a lot of people so that there is attention drawn to this contribution of this person to society and for motivating others. For example, in the 26th January parade, so many awards are also given, isn't it? For bravery, for um, some good behavior, some something that people do which is um, beneficial for all. So those can be awards. So all of this would come under rightfully acquired wealth. What would not be rightfully acquired if I am trying to take the wealth that belongs to another? So if we are having to hide, if we are having to um, cheat, if we are having to not inform the other but to take something, then somewhere we can see that we are not acquiring this rightfully. And if we refer to our natural acceptance, we will be able to see that our feeling will not be right at that moment. So this was about rightfully acquired wealth when we talk of character. And then chastity in conjugal relationships. So in husband-wife relationships, chastity, purity in the relationship. Or in other words, in today's language, not cheating on the spouse, being true to one's spouse. So this we had talked of in terms of character. And yesterday we had given a small assignment to do. So if you look at the assignment, we had said that In this behavior of, you know, when we said ensuring justice and mutual happiness and covering for gaps, and in work, ensuring participation, mutual, you know, ensuring the preserving of the nature, working for mutual prosperity, evaluate your present state as compared to the desired state. So what we have discussed where do we stand in relation to that? To try and um, check on that, reflect on that. And if we'd like to share any of our observations, we can do uh, yeah, a, a business, business, uh, business people. Okay. Uh, if they, uh, there is an uh, item which is a lot of demand in the market. Mm -hmm. Even 
even they pro procure uh, that is uh, less cost they are mm -hmm. uh, uh, they are having an option to increase the cost of the item uh, much more to have a lot of benefit and mm -hmm. and people also are ready to purchase because of their need they are ready to purchase in that mm -hmm. case in that case uh, is it uh, rightly gain uh, wealth or uh, uh, it is uh, uh, wealth accumulating uh, selfish with the selfish what do you think because there is a lot of demand they can increase the price uh, what they want to gain uh, profit uh, and because people also need that one and they are buying so uh, it may be uh, we can say <laughs> right uh, uh, otherwise uh, sometimes suppose the cost is uh, becoming in the market cost uh, fall down they have to sell less the less cost only at that moment they are in, uh, under loss so that time he has to bear the loss the, this uh, case uh, they have to gain the profit uh, they need that is the opportunity for them yeah so if you look at your natural acceptance does it change with time no with it won't change it doesn't yeah. it doesn't yeah. Yeah. so if i am seeing my relationship with the other i will put the right cost at it not that i will give away everything but as i am doing a business i will look at, look at you know taking what is rightfully mine but also seeing my relationship with the other i will try to do the best for the other also see now okay. what i am doing now what yeah. i am doing is i am taking advantage basically of the others necessity isn't it yeah so the other needs something and i see they need it and i hike up the price so if you look at like you know airport uh, air travel today yeah. so if you look at air travel you will see that when it is holiday time the tickets are jacked up a lot okay <laughs> if you travel during <laughs> Uh, say december time or holiday time the holiday yeah. season you will yeah. find that air tickets are far more expensive at that time yes. So yes this is taking advantage of you know that the people want to travel they want to be with their family at this time yeah you are making the ticket much more expensive at that time because you know they will purchase it anyway yes and you will see the flights go full at that time yes yes so we will purchase but yes. are we doing this rightfully if i see my relationship with other i will not do it but, but uh, when i don't but, see the relationship then yes we do all these things because somewhere i am thinking that the more money i make somewhere it is i am linking it to my happiness na no? i'll be happier if i have more wealth so accumulate even if it is at the cost of the other but you will see that this is going against my natural acceptance this would not be reflective of character or rightfully acquired wealth that is correct uh, but uh, suppose in the demanded period that is december suppose the ticket charges are not increased uh, uh, people are attracted more and more uh, much more uh, so many controlling problems are also there so many what is that if if the cost of the ticket is not increased if more people are uh, want to uh, make a tour and trip uh, then uh, more and more people attract uh, or plan that uh, trip or uh, tour or tour but then uh, the controlling and uh, everything uh, the management problems are there see we may justify it to whatever way we want but you yeah. can see that ultimately we are doing this for our own profit isn't it yeah that is Today, many businesses do this yeah. like your example you know hoarding yeah. and selling at a higher price when you know creating a false scarcity in the market uh, that is also there yeah mm -hmm. so there these are all ways mm -hmm. of uh, accumulating more and more because somewhere i am trying to get happiness through this 
I am not able to see my relationship with the other. At home, yes. what do we do? We don't eat up everything and then, you know, yeah, make yeah. our child or tell our child, you have to do this, this work, otherwise I will not give you food. We don't do that. Yes. <laughs> so, we, yeah, we, if we see our relationship, then we don't do that. But, but uh, individually, if we take, because we understand uh, very well all these, uh, okay, we follow or we uh, accept that. Uh, but uh, even policy makers also encouraging, suppose like uh, before Pongal, the charges are, bus charges are, uh, flight charges much more, or this uh, selling liquor one side and uh, other side, they are selling, saying that uh, prohibited or uh, it uh, should not, it is not, uh, it is harmful to health and everything. So this is why we need human values, understanding for all. Until that happens, all this will keep happening. So as a part of uh, uh, self-reflection, uh, yesterday my neighbors uh, actually they faced one problem. So suddenly uh, uh, during night uh, the the uh, the power was gone in their house. So they are facing a lot of problem and they are trying to set the fuses and all uh, finally uh, it did not work so what we did actually i uh, woke up and what i observed uh, uh, many kids are there and uh, elders mother mothers also because the uh, two uh, uh, daughters they came to their house then what i observed uh, if you don't have any problem you can stay in one of our bedrooms it is completely vacant no problem, you don't hesitate. Neighbors, uh, we should help him because it, it is the neighbors who come forward immediately. Because even though many people who like us, they may not be available at the time. So neighbors are the people who are uh, very much available at a, a, any time. So I try to rem uh, remind them also from time to time. So I offered and uh, uh, they accepted it. And uh, now they are sleeping happily in uh, the bedrooms also. Nice. Uh, so what I feel, madam. Uh, so uh, they also accepted because some people may not accept, no. So my proposal, uh, uh, means what they trust on my proposal. Also, I observed their trust also. So I felt very happy uh, yeah. because new people also, madam, the, there also. Because suppose for a very long time we have been staying, means okay, we feel a little bit uh, free and uh, uh, we can feel comfortable. But uh, even though they are not, uh, 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 what can I say? Uh, they have not been staying with us. They have trust upon us. I feel happy. So uh, just like uh, we shared uh, mutually, I feel very happy, madam. That's my a small sharing. Uh, many people do, but like that, I just I shared. Very nice. Uh, yeah, I wanted to reflect upon. Uh this profit making um assumptions like we all are technocrats so uh, we are uh, in involved in research uh, work and we make a we uh, want to make a pat patent out of it so uh, suppose uh, um, i mean to say ki, uh, often we uh, want to do uh, we should do research for the benefit of mankind and if we are taking patent from our research then many of the people may not uh, be able to avail the research work, the benefit uh, we, uh, which we invented uh, out of our research. So what should be our approach in this case? Should we not, we don't take a uh, patent and um, or uh, we should take patent and then um, to make it available for the uh, journal mankind. Uh, means uh, jo garib hai, jo which are poor, uh, agar mani health sectors, aisa kuch hai, if it belongs to health sector, then uh, we should not, uh, uh, at least we should subsist diet. What should our approach so that the research made by us be approachable to each and every uh, people who are needy? Yeah, so see, like I said, today many issues like this may be there. Mm -hmm. and in the expression, there can be creativity. There can be many ways in which we can uh, look at, you know, bringing things or thinking about the well-being of all. Mm -hmm. 
so now what happens when we create a patent we are saying nobody else should be able to market this in this form for so many so many years or we have mm -hmm. complete monopoly in the market mm -hmm. this is one way of making sure that we only get the benefit out of it mm -hmm. right and we mm -hmm. want to make maximum profit out of it mm -hmm. so again if you see these are ways of looking at making more wealth hmm yeah yeah rightfully what we have given example you know um when there was lot of uh, you know in africa people many people were dying of aids mm -hmm. and there was no medicine available at that time mm -hmm. a lot of people there were many many deaths happening in africa there were some pharmaceutical companies in the us who were able to manufacture this make this drug which was supposed to be beneficial for aids but it was at a very very high cost so it could not be made available to a poor country like africa where people you know as a country it could not afford that much cost for all the people that required it mm -hmm. but these companies in the us did not bring down their price mm -hmm. did not help them out but an indian company pharmaceutical mm -hmm. company mm -hmm. that was probably not so big as these other pharmaceutical companies in the us this indian company manufactured it at very low cost and provided it at this low cost to the you know african country all these drugs so that many many people could benefit from it so we can always you know do these things like for instance if i you know increase my price and i sell you know say um whatever 2 kg of something because not everybody will be able to afford now if i lower the price a little bit make it more readily available more people will be able to benefit and ultimately i will get back yeah yeah my cost because of the numbers increase in numbers mm -hmm. but basically what is my thought behind it what is my understanding behind it huh? if i am yes. seeing my relationship with these people who are dying in africa i will do what it takes i will say mm -hmm. okay i don't care much about the profit at least it will save many lives but in that process some profit will also happen mm -hmm. but my focus is not on the profit my focus is on well being the profit yeah. will also happen mm, eventually but, yeah. yeah but if my thinking is that no i cannot lower the cost because then i will make less profit so let me not do this no i will think the other way around isn't it this mm. thinking of this way or that way that thought is dependent on my understanding or lack of it isn't it yes so that's Thank why you. understanding is important yeah 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 you made my uh, thought clear re regarding this uh, actually i am working on a research uh, uh, on a respiratory monitoring and i want to make a system for actually respiratory is such a thing uh, we, um, as per who uh, uh, Ten more, uh, ten uh, causes of death. I mean, just uh, ten most uh, causes of death. Among that, three digits comes under respiratory digits. Respiratory related digits. So I want to make a system for uh, uh, and and this respiratory means specific specialist uh, are not available at the rural places or remote places. These uh, specialist care are always available at the 
town cities main cities so uh, i am working on a internet of medical things so i i, I was thinking if i'll take patent out of it then uh, the, the people living in those remote and rural areas will not be able to uh, avail it now Okay. Yes. So if you see now in the UHV workshops, you know, what is happening? It is being brought into education. But at the same time, the books that are being published, none of the authors are taking any royalty. So that the cost can be lowered so that people can purchase the book at a reasonable price. The UHV book. Similarly for the health book. Same thing. It will come out soon. But so far it has not. But it will come out. And while the printed version is available, there is a online version, digital version also, which is totally free. Mm -hmm. Because the printed version requires some cost to be covered in terms of paper and printing and all of that. Mm -hmm. So some cost has to be put. But the authors are not taking any royalty. Similarly, you know, the courses that are being run, now these courses that are being put on Swayam and all, UHV mm -hmm. courses, and ultimately health course will also be there. Mm -hmm. All these courses, if you look today online, there are many, many courses where you have to pay a huge sum. Mm -hmm. But all these courses are going to be available for free for people yeah. because... For the well-being of all, if we want to have understanding among more and more people, then if we make it freely available, it is accessible to all easily, isn't it? Yeah. So ultimately, this is what we were talking about. When it comes to human conduct, we talked of the values where we said, we, you know, that is at the level of understanding, at the level of the B1 block, where we understand what to do as a human being, what not to do. This understanding is what decides the how to do part, the thoughts at the level of B2. So if I am clear, if I have clarity in B1 about what to do as a human being, then the how to do is just, you know, there are so many ways of doing it. But it will always be with that basis of the understanding because I have clarity of what to do. So the values, the understanding, that is invariant. It is universal. So for example, if you look at this example that is given in this slide, you know, nurturing the body. So food is required for nurturing the body, right? This is of value. Now, this is true for all human beings. It was true before, it is true now, it will be true. As long as the human being is there as a coexistence of self and body, the body will require food. It will require to be nurtured. So this, at the level, for example, you know, for nurturing the body, you require food, but um, what food? So everybody doesn't have to have the same exact food. You will find in the north, people eat more of wheat. In the south, people eat more of rice. So depending on what is locally grown, what is suitable for the body in that place, accordingly, they can both be nurturing for the body. There you will find creativity. So in the how to do part, you will see a lot of creativity. And then the expression again, there can be a lot of creativity in that. So. In the how to do part, you will be thinking about, okay, now I should be planting this because this is the season for this. And in this region, 
this grows easily so i should plant this so there are some fruits some vegetables which do better in certain climates so you plant those which grow easily so you will find that uh, like for instance i can say for the south papayas seem to grow very easily you know this fruit custard apple it grows very easily it is region based no in this area you just throw a few seeds also in the rainy season you will see plants coming up so what you know you need food to nurture the body that is definite that is universal but how to do what to you know eat what food to provide to the body that may vary depending on the place so that thought we get and then the expression of that at the level of behavior work participation in the larger order similarly if you look at respect as an example so the feeling of respect is something definite it is invariant it is universal but how to express that you know uh, feeling of respect i may have many thoughts about it should i shake hands should i touch the feet should i say a namaste and i might it may be dependent on the age of the person it may vary depending on the place where i am the customs of that area and so on so those variations will be there and accordingly i will bring it out in expression so this is about the values the policy and the expression in terms of character so essentially this is also saying the same things so human values has to do with the understanding what to do as human being what not to do as human being having that clarity of what is right for me policy is a detail about the thought of how to do so the planning the program the implementing the kind of results the outcome that you get evaluating that and all of that will be involved in policy so you can have policy for enrichment policy for protection policy for right utilization so enriching what enriching the self enriching the body enriching the physical facility protecting the self protecting the body protecting the physical facility and rightly utilizing the self the body and the physical facility this also we talked about in detail yesterday and eventually the character the expression of all of this what is going on within us so there you will see compassionate behavior work and participation in the larger order with that understanding at that pace so the values on the basis of the value the planning and then the expression therefore in the behavior we ensure justice in relationships so that there is mutual happiness and we also fill the gaps from the past which we may have created in ignorance similarly with work we ensure the preservation in nature and look at mutual prosperity not just my prosperity and also fill the gaps created in ignorance when it comes to wealth we go for rightfully acquired wealth when it comes to relationships immediate like conjugal relationships husband wife relationships we have purity chastity in the relationship so this was about all to do you know with this human conduct this uh, method of depicting the conduct 
like we had said, with values, policy, character. So this is also one way of uh, looking at human conduct. So I think with that, we have come to the conclusion of this lecture. And um, there is some self-reflection. Some of it we have already done. Um, based on, you know, the assignments that we have given so far. But essentially, we can see, you know, how we can, in our day-to-day -day living, how this understanding plays its part, you know, how our expression is linked to what I'm thinking before I express. But those thoughts are based on what I understand or what I you know, fail to understand. Based on that, I am thinking something. So eventually we can see that the values at the base are what are required for having this kind of behavior, having this kind of expression, having what we can see as, you know, definite human conduct. This is one of the question, how to really assimilate or understand all this in a practical sense when we are using it is the first question. And the second question is generally anybody reflects on to us or uh, responds to us based on how we react to that, not on what we are reacting. Most of what is being ignored but how we react is being kept into uh, consideration or is, is the primary focus of the consideration. So how to really understand uh, because what is also important at the same time, how is reflection of what is understood? So in, in, in West also, they say how you have done is mostly remembered or how you have treated somebody is mostly remembered, not what you have done. So how to interpret this uh, I'm not trying to go on the words because I'm trying to understand this uh, from the first part to this how and what. So kindly clarify the second aspect also. Yeah, so if you see, you know, we have been talking about seeing things holistically right from the beginning. Only thing we have been trying to put it in the form of a proposal so that everybody can explore and see for themselves. So when we talk of the natural acceptance, when we say something that is universal, that is invariant, now everybody can look at this very easily. Even a small child, two-year-old child is able to, you know, if you ask the right questions, the child is able to respond. So seeing that, you know, what is right, what is right for me to do what is not right for me to do having that clarity comes from eventually seeing right now what we refer to as natural acceptance but ultimately awakening to the higher activities within us so that we can see the reality and the reality is the same for all it is just that we have different perspectives so, for example, the tree outside is green, but if I am wearing red colored glasses, to me it looks red. If the other person is wearing yellow colored glasses, to that person it looks yellow. But it's actually green, isn't it? So, if I don't understand things the way it is, because I have assumed something to be true, then it is my problem, because I am not seeing the reality as it is. Because the reality is one, the reality is definite. So now what you're saying is that we react a certain way based on the other's reaction. But if you see the reality doesn't change. It is just that if I see the reality, I may behave in a certain way. If I don't see that reality, and if I assume it to be something else, then I may react. Then it will depend on whatever is happening outside, which we have been doing. And we'll find that we are not really happy with that. We are doing that. 
today what is happening somebody shouts at us we shout back but you look inside and you see do you feel happy with this or is there something you would like to change and if there is something you would like to change what is it that you can change that was the first question didi as in you have given yeah, lot of let me finish this so yeah. if outside i am trying to change how many people am i going to change how many circumstances am i going to change situations that i'll change it's not possible you'll find so there is going to be frustration inside there is going to be unhappiness within me because i am trying to do something which is next to impossible i mean i may be interacting with hundreds of people over time thousands Now, for everybody and you know everything to be the way i want it to be is not possible it will not happen and if i keep trying to change things to the way that i want them to be it is going to be a battle that is i'll be losing and i am going to be frustrated disturbed unhappy but if i could see that my well being is also linked to the well being of everybody else if i could see that that how will i see that clarity comes from understanding so if you see we are trying to look at the holistic perspective um perhaps you know because you have not been able to attend all the sessions you may have lost some things in the middle because it's like one sentence being spoken so essentially when we come to policy also it is very um uh, smooth in terms of when we understand something next we think about how to go about it isn't it that is what we are referring to as policy and then we express it outside so i would say you know reflect on this and maybe go back to the earlier lectures even if it is the second fdp you know um, if you go back to that and just uh, go through the recordings you may be able to see what we are talking about as you know first time or the second time you attend the workshop you may not get the whole thing uh and especially if you have lost some bits and pieces in between so it looks patchy but really there is a thread which is running through all of this and that is based on the understanding the values so this is what i wanted to mention but um i would say you know just go back and sort of look at many of these recordings are available whatever you have you need clarity about one can get it through all of these and how to actually work on oneself that is through the exercise 1 and 2 which was part of this uhv3 but we'll also be doing it again after this session ends and we start the new session we'll be starting that exercise so that will be very beneficial if you stay through the whole exercise 1 and 2 i think you will have more clarity about this yeah